So this is Antonio, Antonio Jimenez Garibay. Antonio Jimenez Jimenez Garibay, 45 year old. RIP to Antonio Jimenez Garibay. RIP. This is the 37th homicide. He got killed October 2nd, 2022. So just about a month ago at 10 p.m. over at the Murray Hill Apartments, the 4200 block of Galley Road in Colorado Springs. So that was just some of the details that I have wrote down. 10 p.m. Murray Hill Apartments, October 2nd, 2022. No arrest. It's been over a month. And apparently they just... Let's read what this article here says. Fox 21 News. El Paso County Coroner's Office has identified a man who was killed in a shooting near the Murray Hill Apartments on Galley Road, October 2nd, Sunday. CSPD said the death of 45-year-old Antonio Jimenez Garibay of Colorado Springs is being investigated as a homicide. The coroner's office has yet to determine the cause and manner of death. CSPD was called to the Murray Hill Apartments concerning a shooting Sunday evening at around 10 p.m. Officers found Jimenez Garibay dead on the scene. This time, At this time, no arrests have been made. The investigation is ongoing. And if you have any tips, call the police. So, my God, what, ha- what happened? What happened? There was a guy that was shot and killed in Colorado Springs, and um, apparently the media and the cops, we just um, walked up there and we saw a dead body, and that was it. We don't know anything about him. It, what kind of groups is he part of? Is he a Democrat? Is he a Republican? Is he a, you know, is he a Freemason? What, uh, what's he doing? Is he bowling alone? What is this guy doing? Antonio Jimenez Garibay was more than just a, an age and a name. You know, what was his favorite color? He's got a hat on there. What's uh, his? What's he a Denver fan? Here's another one here. Just before 10, 10 p.m., 4200 block of Galley. Apparently, there's a Citadel Mall over there. Just south of Mitchell High School. East of the Citadel Mall. Well, there's a... I'd ask some questions of both of those, right? Go to the mall, go to the high school. Start asking some questions. The shooting occurred at the apartments. One male was found deceased. No gazette. I don't want... Like a paywall or something there. One male was found deceased on the scene. Police said officials did not indicate that any arrests were made and have not released suspect information or the identity of the victim. So, yeah, a whole bunch of nothing, huh? My God, with all that information, how can the public not figure it out? When it came to that Gabby Petito case, we, the public, figured that case out before the FBI did. We found a guy who had videotaped the thing, slowed it down, looked at the video, found where she was. We did that. We, the public, we, the people, did that. So it was just some guy that was just driving around in an RV. Not some official that's in some official building, but just some guy driving around in an RV who had captured the video footage of it. So if we actually had a culture where we were saying, okay, there's a murder that just took place. Let's stop this murder. Who's all opposed to murder? It's a, you know opposed to the... It's not uh, consistent with the golden rule. It's not consistent with the civil society. It's not really consistent with anything. Ten Commandments said, thou should not kill. So, um, anybody, any of you Christians opposed to the murders of people? Antonio Jimenez Garibay. He seems like a a nice man. I mean, what's, that seems like a nice enough face. He doesn't seem like he's all crazy and, uh, terrible. Well, what the heck. But, I mean, look at that face. Does that face look like a a terrorist, a a terrible person, a person that's going to go around hurting people? No, he put on a hat and he's trying to make himself look pretty and say, hey guys, I'm here too. Hey guys, I'm here too. So, let's see, I'll read this one, KKTV. This might be the last one. No, homicide on Pueblo's west side under investigation. So here's another homicide. This was October 12th, 10 days after Antonio Jimenez Garibay had died. Antonio Jimenez Garibay. So 2300 block West 13th Street, 1130, deceased man was there. Patrol officers contacted witnesses inside the residence. We'll have that story at four. And it's unknown what the relationship was between the suspect and the victim. 
deadly shooting. This happened late last night around 1130. Officers say they responded to a home on West 13th Street after... So we were told nothing. There is a murder that happened in Pueblo. Was it a guy? Was it a woman? Was it a person? Was it just a, a figment of your imagination? Cops went out, found a dead body, and we're not going to say anything else. We're not going to tell you who or what or when or where or how. We will tell you nothing. Why? Because we're the cops and we keep secrets from all you all. We'll get back to this Pueblo homicide in a second. But RIP to Antonio Jimenez Garibay. Hopefully the cops or somebody starts talking and hopefully we figure out what the hell is going on.